In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best flood concepts in Madden 24 and a new way to utilize Gun Bunch offset out of the Colts playbook. If you guys want to get my entire updated Indianapolis Colts offensive ebook, it's available by joining the Patreon for just $10. That will also get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates and any new stuff that we drop while your membership is active. If you want to sign up, the link's going to be down in the description below. Now, the play we're going to be talking about today is curl flat out of the Colts bunch. And the setup for this play is we're going to put the tight end on a tight end apprentice corner. We're going to streak our outside uh, bunch receiver. We're going to block our running back and we're going to drag our solo wide receiver. So what this concept is, is this is the big corner, little corner concept out of um, bunch, essentially. And what you're going to see is because we have this tight end apprentice, this tight end apprentice corner typically does a really good job of being able to attack man-to-man -man coverage as long as he doesn't get pressed. This is more of a zone beating concept. It really is going to do a good job against uh, base aligned pressed uh, dollar, but the tight end corner does also get separation if they're going to play you in man coverage, you also have your backside drag. So just keep that in mind. But what I want to really show off is how this concept really does a great job against baseline press cover four drop. So what you're going to see, baseline press cover four drop. And even if they have deep out zone KO on their outside guys, hopefully he doesn't run the corner route like that. That was absolutely hilarious how he literally just didn't. <laughs> he just ran into the ground. Um, good old Madden 24 with the bumping, especially in practice mode. Uh, okay, so... Basically, what will happen, if as long as he doesn't get bumped, hopefully he won't hear what you'll see. Runs a short corner. The safety has to the safety has to basically respect the deeper corner route. Or I'm sorry, not the safety, but the, uh, the outside corner has to respect the deeper corner route. And so because the outside corner has to respect the uh, deeper corner route at a curl flat, then what you're able to do is you're able to throw this ball with a an down and outside pass lead, and you're going to catch it on the sideline just like that. Now, it's really important when running this concept, in my opinion, to run this with your bunch to the wide side of the field. The reason why is because another defense that is going to do a really good job of attacking is your standard double Mabel coverage. And I actually have 6-1 in the playbook, so we are going to show it out of 4-3 uh, even 6-1. And again, the play we're using is curl flat out of the Colts offensive playbook. So what you're going to see here is if I was rocking the 6-1 defense, typically what you're going to get is you're going to get this uh, defense right here. And this defense right here is really hard to beat consistently. Now, I don't want to get fluke shedded, um, so I'm going to actually leave the pass rush off just to showcase this at least once, and then we'll put the pass rush back on. But again, here's your route combo. And what you're going to see here is that 30-yard cloud, the curl flat corner out of Colts actually gets over the top of that 30 yard cloud over there on the sideline. Now, the other thing that I did want to quickly just point out, and we'll put the pass rush back on here to show this, is that the if they are using a 30 yard cloud over there on that outside, a lot of times your tight end will get underneath that. So what you'll see here is I could throw that down and outside, a little bit more of a free form to the outside, and we're gonna be able to attack the sideline just like that as well. So we're able to attack your kind of meta uh, double Mabel coverage. We're able to attack your cover four drop. We're also gonna be able to attack um, all kinds of different zones, really any baseline press style zone defense. And one of the better ones actually is this adjustment right here if they were running like a, a cover two over here on the right. The, the only problem with this defense is because of the fact that we're rocking the route combo like this, what you're going to see here is that that cloud will never, ever, ever get back to defend that deep corner route over there because we're running this to the wide side of the field. So one of the best ways that a lot of people like to, to counter this, and if you know what you're doing, and, and I think it's only dollar, uh, nickel 3-3 can do this, but dollar is definitely better for this. But if you're running baseline press dollar, you basically have this right here, and you can run this defense, uh, which is the cover three cloud, where essentially you're trying to roll your safety over the top to take away that deeper corner route. The only problem with that adjustment is we have a seam streak to our circle receiver. So what you're going to see is he is going to get open kind of in this little pocket, and you can possession catch that before he gets to the KO defender. So you have a lot of options. Another little underrated thing that you can do, let's say you have a slot apprentice and you want to run this. Again, if they're running that cover three cloud style where the safeties are rolling, 
then your tight end uh, will also get open kind of up in this seam area if you were to use a slot apprentice on the outside of your bunch. So the big corner, little corner concept is such an important concept to understand. Um, this also is going to do a really good job. Let's say you're playing just a basic cover three here. If you're playing a basic cover three, you're going to get the same behavior that you got with your cover four. As you can see, that short corner route just gets in a nice soft spot against the zone coverage. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to turn your Madden game into um, just an absolute beast on the sticks, if you want to become a better Madden player, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that in the description down below for just $10 to get you access to my entire offensive and defensive ebook library with well over 16 offensive and defensive ebooks for you to take your game to the next level. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.